Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we're back with our world famous top 10 stocks for April 2023. And so far, 2023 has been absolutely phenomenal for stocks and for cryptocurrencies. We told you Bitcoin would explode. It's having a monster year this year. So we've got a lot of good quality companies today, a lot of mid-cap companies today. So I think there's some huge upside. We've had a huge explosion to start 2023. Let's see if we can continue into April. And let's see if our top 10 stocks can help you hit your goals exclusively here on Rich TV Live. All right, in number 10 spot for April 2023, Riots. I am a huge fan of Bitcoin. This is a Bitcoin miner, one of the top Bitcoin miners in America. You can see it's been as high as $20 last year when it hit its highs. And you can see in the last year when it's hit its highs. And you can see hit a low low of 325, currently at 978. So it has been making a huge move off the bottom as most everything that's related to crypto has you can see it's already up 200 percent since the bottom and if we see bitcoin continue this bull market this bull run that it's on right now which i believe we will see for the next two years then we could see riot go much much higher so that's why they're my number 10 pick because bitcoin's hot riot's been hot and if bitcoin stays hot and riot stays hot we could see this go much higher in April and beyond. So put Riot on your radar and on your watch list, my number 10 pick for April 2023. And in number nine, staying with crypto-related mining stocks, Marathon Digital, another one that I absolutely love. Also a miner of Bitcoin, a huge miner of Bitcoin. You can see it's been as high as $19 in the last year. Similar to Riot, as low as $3, already back to 8 So making this big move up in the right direction, very, very bullish. And I believe if this momentum continues into April, that we will see Mara go much higher and we could see them go back to that $20 or higher range. So huge, huge, huge momentum with Mara. My number nine pick for April 2023. And with Bitcoin on fire, I think we're going to see Riot and Mara continue to go higher in April 2023. Now, in number eight, another company that's actually been doing well so far in 2023, and I believe has a long way to go higher, AMD. You can see in the last year, AMD has been as high as 120, been as low as 54. That would have been the greatest buy. But right now we're at 97, and I think it's going to go higher, especially when you look at NVIDIA and how well NVIDIA has been doing and how AMD is kind of like the second biggest player behind NVIDIA, I think that we could see AMD go much higher. And I think that they've done extremely well since hitting its bottom of 54. It's at 97 right now. But I think we could see this go higher from here. That's why they're my number eight pick for April 2023 AMD. So those are three picks that are already doing well. And I feel like the momentum may continue into April, and they've all been on fire to start 2023. Now, in number seven, another one that I've always liked that hit a crazy bottom of $23, $21 last year. It had a high of 53, and we're currently sitting at 44, but I believe this can go much higher. I love this company, Roblox Corp. I think their future is bright, and I think the upside is absolutely enormous for them. That's why they are my number seven pick. Seven pick for April 2023, Roblox, RBLX. You can see another one that's been on fire, trading at the top of the Fibonacci. So lots of momentum here, and I believe this momentum might continue. That's why they're my number seven pick for April 2023. In number six... Another one that's taken it on the chin, come down a lot, but I think might start being able to find a floor here. You can see in the last year, it's been as high as 23, 
been as low as $6. That would be an amazing entry point, but it's starting to come back up through the Fibonacci's here and we're sitting at $11. And I think we could see some more upside here, uh, especially until at least $13 where we get to the top of the Fibonacci. I think we got some momentum here for this to run higher. So Peloton, I was in the mall in Toronto. I saw a Peloton store in there. I thought, well, you know what? Maybe now's the time to start looking into Peloton. It's been beat up. It's taken low lows. It's way off the highs. It's closer to bottom than it is the top, way closer. And I think now might be the time to start thinking about a company like this. Now, remember, everything that we talk about is for education and entertainment purposes only. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. I'm an investor just like you guys. I'm looking for opportunities like you guys are as well. These are very aggressive trades. These are very risky trades. I can't guarantee anything, but as an investor, these are the types of trades I've been looking for and I'm looking at right now myself in April. And if I buy any of these, I will let you know. Grow Generation Corp is my number five pick for April, 2023, a cannabis company, but they don't actually touch any flower. They're actually in the business of giving you the tools you need to grow your flower if you're a cannabis company. So I like this company. I think they have huge potential in America. You can see here in the last year, the high, high of $9.92, low, low of $2.92. We're currently sitting at $3.39 at the bottom of the Fibonacci. This is just like a hunch. I just feel like it's oversold. And I think the upside is tremendous, at least till they get to the top of the Fibonacci's, which would be about $5. So it's just a good quality company that's been beat up like most cannabis companies right now. And I think that the that the upside is tremendous and it might be at a bottom. So this is just more of a hunch. There's no real reason. Uh, just looking at the chart, it looks like the upside is big from here for Grow Generation Corp. And it's up 5% on the day today. So it is the end of April. It's the last trading day of April. Sorry, of, of March. It's the last trading day of March. And we've had a really, really good month. We've had a good three months to start the year in stocks and in crypto, especially with Bitcoin being up over 70% this year. So looking for a lot of companies that we can really ride momentum with as the momentum continues to grow so far in 2023, despite the fact that we've had, you know, banks go bankrupt. We've had rate hikes. We've had a lot of reasons. And there's a war ongoing in the Ukraine and a lot of tension all over the world. Despite the fact that we have all these things going on, the stock market is doing really well. And so is Bitcoin and crypto. So hopefully this trend will continue. My number four pick is NEO. I've liked NEO for a long time. Obviously, we've seen them go much higher. In the last year, they've been as high as $24. There's been, they've been as low as eight. We're currently sitting at $10.50. So I think we're a lot closer to the bottom than we are at the top. I think the upside is tremendous for these guys. If you can get it at $8.00. That would be an amazing entry point. But I even think at 1050, we could get a nice entry point here and we could see this go up to at least the top of the Fibonacci's, which is about 1250. So a little bit of room there, in my opinion, for some more movement in April. So Neo, my number four pick, electric vehicle play out of Asia. Neo, my number four pick for April 2023. And in number three, Rivian, another electric vehicle play that's been beat up. Too many of these stocks have been beat up. I think now is the time for us to look at them. So you can see Rivian here. It's been much higher as well. Uh, you can see it's been as high as $40 in the last year. The low low is about 12. So we're not that far off the bottom. You can see we are trading at the bottom of the Fibonacci's. Fibonacci tells me that to the top of the Fibonacci will take us to at least $26. So I think there's some huge upside here. This is more of a hunch. They're also at up 6% on the day. So electric vehicles are doing well to end the first quarter, doing well to end March, and doing well to start 2023 after most of them, including Tesla, had a really tough 2022, and now they're starting to rebound. So I think Rivian might be interesting at these levels, $15.30, my number three pick for April 2023. Now in my number two, this is one that's a new pick that I just started watching, and it's been on fire and they are working on getting authorization from the FDA on some of their drugs and some of the, the patents and the products that they're working on. And one of the major reasons why this stock has done so well and ran from a dollar to $6.92 just yesterday is because Pfizer is buying millions of shares. The report is that Pfizer has bought 1.8 million shares of PYXS. 
The stock has been on fire. Today it went back down, had a huge dip down to $3.60 region where investors bought in again, and now it's already back to four forty six. So this is one to watch. I think if Pfizer continues to buy this or maybe Pfizer acquires this, we could see PYXS go much higher. So that's why they're my number two pick for April 2023. And they've been on fire for the whole month. Today's the first day, pretty much all month, that they've really gone down a lot. I think this is more of a strategic market maker uh, making a move on this. Um, and I think we could see this go much higher in April. So one to watch, PYXS. And my number one pick for April 2023. Terran Orbital, this is a satellite company and developer and maker. They just signed a contract for $2.4 billion. I believe that this is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. They had this huge explosion up to $3.45 when they announced the news of the $2.4 billion project, um, uh, funding for a project. And the stock has then since sold off very aggressively, hit a low of a dollar fifty zone, and that's where I think we would love to buy this. I've been hunting it, looking for position myself, but I, I wanted to see a little bit of a trend reversal after this downward movement. I've now seen that, so now it's kind of shown its hand to me, shown me that the floor is about one forty nine, one fifty zone. That's where I plan to buy some. I was gonna buy some before this run, I just didn't get in, so now it's making a little bit of a run here. Let's see if this will be sustained or not. Uh, whether or not it comes back down. If it does, my goal is to buy at least 3,000 shares at about $1.50 US. That's my goal. Uh, it's my target. I could have hit it a couple of days ago, but I didn't. And right now it's at 181. So I'm watching them closely. LLAP, $2.4 billion contract for a stock sitting at $1.81. Just to me, makes me feel like there's some huge upside here. That's why they're my number one pick for April 2023. Hope you love our top 10 stocks for April 2023. If you like these videos, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Great start to 2023. Let's continue with this price action. I hope you like our top 10 stocks for 2023. If you do, please comment on the video. Let me know what you think about my top 10. Is there any picks you think I should be adding to this list? Do you like my picks? Do you dislike my picks? Please let me know. And stay tuned to our top 10 cryptos that are also going to be coming out over the next few days for April 2023. And cryptos have been heating up. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. CEO interviews. Interviews. We bring you trending topics, analysis, chart analysis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching. Your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich. TV Live, and I'm up.